The Roshan Dikwala has become a household name for many reasons, some a little controversial, mostly not. But jokes aside, Niroshan Dikwala got into first class cricket um, through his outstanding school career. Um, he played for Trinity College and Niroshan from then on has been a stellar cricketer, um, both in Sri Lanka and in the international field as well. And today we have with us Niroshan Dikwala, none other than himself, to talk to us a little bit about the upcoming LPL. So first of all, how are you? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm doing good. I was uh, out from uh, cricket for five months now and uh, I started recently playing uh, cricket again and mm -hmm. now I'm uh, looking forward to the LPL tournament. Uh, this is going to be my uh, uh, comeback or how I'm going to approach my international career again. I think all of us are super excited for you as well. Every single cricket fan in Sri Lanka uh, can't wait to see that comeback from you because you've had uh, exponential growth so far, you know, in terms of cricket. Um, and you've brought a lot of repute to Sri Lanka as well. Um, tell me a little bit about, you know, practice and strategies. What exactly or how exactly are you going to better your performance for the upcoming LPL and subsequently, you know, the international field as well? Yeah, I've been working with uh, our coaches and trainers uh, uh, last couple of weeks and I've, I've uh, uh, mainly with Mr. Sampat Perra. So he was behind me throughout uh, in my hard, hard time uh, last few months and uh, uh, I have uh, specifically trained in different, different areas where I have uh, lacked my performance uh, in the past and uh, uh, they, it will be a different approach from me to the cricket field and uh, as a human being um, I have changed in a good way I think and I hope it will be uh, good for me in the future. I think that's all that matters, growth in terms of personality, in terms of your sports career. I mean, we wish you nothing but the best as well. And we've seen that growth uh, uh, for the past few months as well. Uh, talk to me a little bit about uh, Dambula Giants itself. How do you think is th the team is going to you know, uh, progress and how exactly are they going to perform? What exactly uh, are your biggest challenges as a team in your perspective? So the first biggest challenge is to uh, get along with each other because we, we uh, uh, there are some international players that and uh, the local Sri Lankan international players uh, uh, were not in Sri Lanka. They have been uh, busy with uh, international duties, Sri Lankan duties. So then we have to get along and we have to gel together, bond together first of all in uh, like real quick time in two, three days. And uh, we have to plan our strategies and how to... Uh, uh, bring our A game into the middle with everyone's support and the uh, supporting staff support and uh, the coaches and uh, uh, the franchise support. So we have to uh, get along well and with the international other, other international players. So they have much more experience than our local players. So we have to talk to each other, get their experience and uh, get in the middle and uh, do our best. I think that's uh, uh, an advantage to all our young players as well, working with such experienced players such as yourself and all of the international players. Um, it's a lot of experience to be garnered for sure. It's a lot of experience to be gained and learned. So I think that's uh, something that's positive that's coming out of the LPL. Other than that, I want to talk to you uh, personally about your school career because me growing up as well, being a cricket fan, I think the first time we saw your face was schoolboy cricketer. I don't remember when it was, yeah. 2000, 12. Uh, 2012. Whoa, that's a long time yeah. back. Um, talk to us a little bit about how your school career essentially uh, was a stepping stone into getting into international and and you know national level cricket. So I was uh, I started playing when I was uh, really young and then I uh, got into uh, uh, under thirteen cricket team. So then uh, since then I uh, I was in the under fifteen and under seventeen teams and then I I I, I got this opportunity to uh, vice captain the team. Uh, in the under, under 17 uh, Lemonade Cup tournament. So then we, be, uh, actually I was the captain, in under 15 I was the vice captain, in under 17 tournament we, we went, uh, we were with the runners up. Right. So under 17, then uh, I, I played the under 19 uh, World Cup in 2012 and then I managed to uh, uh, bring glory to our college 20 and uh, we became uh, the, uh, the one day champions and the league champions and the T20 champions, triple champs and then I, we managed to win the big match after 26 years. So that, that was the uh, base on my, uh, the layer of my uh, career for my international career. I mean afterwards 
I got into NCC, played my first class career, uh, uh, first first class match, and since then uh, I managed to uh, become a Sri Lankan cricketer. Absolutely, and you are so young yourself, and you know achieving so much. I think there's a lot of hope for in the future as well. You know, we are going to um, have internationally. You yourself are going to grow so much, and that is something that we look forward to as cricket fans, and everybody out there is definitely looking forward to as well. Um, a few last questions, sir. Um, my, I want to know in terms of the LPL, in terms of Dumbula Giants. You were talking about how you know bonding with the team was one of the biggest challenges that you had to face. Talk to me a little bit about your personal team players. Do you think uh, the team players that you have for Damula Giants is, is uh, a, a, a good team? I mean, we spoke to Mr. Khan previously. We spoke to your manager as well. And they were excited about the team. Talk to me a little bit about your personal opinion about the Damula Giants team. Yeah, I think uh, we have a good captain, first of all. Dasun Shanik mm -hmm. is a, a brilliant captain. And uh, we have a balanced team, actually. We have uh, good international players. Uh, and uh, local players are very uh, uh, active and they are like uh, upcoming players. They, play, they have played A-team and they have played development and they have been playing this uh, domestic tournament recently. So they have performed well and uh, uh, they are, they are, there are good all-rounders in our team. So I think it is a balanced team but comparing to other teams, we do not have much big names like Russell's, Gales and Angela Matthews. Like, like we do not have those big names but we have those players that can change a game, they can uh, finish a game. So we have those uh, players who can win a game for their team. So I think we have a great team and we have a balanced team. I also think you all are the underdogs of this series as well and a lot of the people out there are definitely rooting for uh, Dumbula Giants. Um, with that being said, let's talk about Sri Lankan fan bases. We can be a roller coaster of a ride to you know deal with. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of love. It's 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 just a lot of things going on. But to everybody out there, just share something, sir. I know it's not easy to be a cricketer in Sri Lanka. There's so much controversies going on. But in terms of the good times or the bad times, it doesn't matter what. What do you have to tell uh, the fan bases of Sri Lanka that are looking at you right now? So I think uh, Sri Lankan fans were behind Sri Lankan cricket for a long time, since 1996 World Cup. So we have been, uh, the fans have been uh, behind us. And then now, uh, even the fans are emotional. And as a, as, a, as a human being, we all get emotional. So even we don't want to uh, lose a game. We always want to win, but it's a game. It's not an exam or it's not a uh, thing that you sit in front of a laptop and do. So this is a game. So someone has to lose, someone has to win. But what we, what we uh, give in the middle is what it matters and if we give 100% and fans expect us to win all the time but even if we win or lose they are behind us. We are, I'm so grateful, I'm very thankful for them uh, for being behind us all the time and again now after, after, after one and a half years now the fans can come to the stadium and watch a game. So that's uh, something uh, uh, interesting as well for the fans. and. Uh, I think uh, this LPL tournament is going to be a uh, good opportunity for the fans to enjoy themselves uh, after this pandemic uh, time and I want to really thank all the fans and the cr uh, cricket lovers who were behind us throughout uh, our hard time since 2016 as a Sri Lankan cricketer and now the youngsters and the senior players has uh, got along and now we are rebuilding our team and I hope we are going, uh, I, I think we are going in the right path and I hope uh, Sri Lanka will, cricket will be uh, uh, better and better in the future. That's so good to hear. That's definitely what we want to hear as well. Last question before we go. Uh, Niroshan, tell us who do you think is going to be your biggest challenge in terms of teams uh, when it comes to the upcoming uh, tournament? Uh, as I think, I don't, I don't, I don't, think like that because on that day whoever performs well, mm. whoever does the right thing at the right moment will get the benefit. So th there are opportunities. So we have to uh, bring our A game to the field and there are big teams, there are underdogs but it matters only that day, that moment, whoever does the right thing at that moment will get the opportunity and will uh, uh, move forward and win, win the game. But I think. Mm, uh, Jaffna again like 
the last year last and year. Gaul again I think I have a, a good side but uh, as I said the, that moment you I never was, know yeah um, whatever it is I wish you all the very best not just with the LPL tournament but with everything coming up as well all the very best to you hope you have an amazing career yeah. ahead of you thank you so much